So I was just listening to this very interesting Joe Rogan podcast episode where he was interviewing Mark Zuckerberg himself, the CEO of Meta X Facebook. So I was listening way at the gym, just minding my own business until I heard him say this. Probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. So this comes at the back of OpenAI's announcement of their O3 AI model, which I already talked about on a previous video, where essentially the point is that this model had beaten human performance in the Arc AGI intelligence test that basically tests AI's ability to actually reason from scratch, like mimicking human intelligence. And it had also ranked in the top 1% of competitive programming scores, which understandably threw the tech internet into competition complete meltdown I basically created two camps of people we have one camp that is saying yes obviously this means that ai is now going to replace programmers coding is dead how can you not see that this is happening and then you have another camp which is going well obviously ai is not going to replace programmers there's no way this is all exaggerated there's no way ai can ever replace the work of a programmer how can you not see that and obviously people have been arguing about this back and forth and my stance was really that no one really knows what's going to happen in the future and probably we're going to see some kind of a middle ground between these two extremes but this statement by one of the let's say leaders in the industry definitely is something that we have to take seriously and it's a very strong indication that indeed there is going to be a lot of disruption by ai in the coding industry if literally the ceo of meta is now saying that as soon as this year we can have ai performing the work of a senior engineer So in this video, I just wanted to discuss this in a bit more detail, give you my thoughts as someone who actually worked at one of these bigger companies as a software engineer to see what I think is the situation, not that my opinion should outweigh the opinion of Mark Zuckerberg, but I also wanted to show the reactions of the internet, some of the more interesting arguments and reactions that people have been giving to this, as well as give my conclusion on what this means for you and what you should be doing in 2025. So first things first, Mark Zuckerberg is saying this, and obviously he's amazing at building a company. He's built one of the most successful tech companies in the history of the world. But we also want to remember that we don't want to get into authority bias, where essentially this is psychological bias. When you have a an expert in one field saying something about a different field that they might not actually be an expert in, but we still believe the authority because we have this image of them in our heads that they are the authority, they're obviously smarter, they know better than we do. And obviously, Mark Zuckerberg is in the tech industry, so this is not exactly the situation here, but we do have to remember that there have been a lot of situations in the past in all kinds of different fields where you have experts, even in the particular field that we're talking about, who are being completely wrong about predictions. Famously, there was a quote by, I forgot who he was, I'll say, I put the name here, but someone pretty important in tech who basically said that, yeah, internet is not going to be a thing it's all hype there's no way there's no way internet can ever be important now we can all see how wrong that was so the point here is that just because Mark Zuckerberg said this doesn't mean that it's definitely going to happen it's also the case that just as an example their company has been investing heavily into the whole metaverse thing and that hasn't really been playing out at least so far so time will tell but let's just see but before I give my full thoughts on what I think will happen and what you should do let's see how people are reacting to this on the internet here we have a reddit post about this topic mark zuckerberg said meta will start automating the work of middle-level software engineers this year and meta may eventually outsource all coding on its apps to ai so here's an interesting point this guy's saying bullshit they're way over leveraged in ai and have literally no other idea so he's talking up the ai capabilities to keep the investor cash coming so it is a very good point that he does sort of have a vested interest 
to say this because AI is something that Meta, the company, is heavily investing into. So he sort of has to say this, like he has to sort of hype up AI in order to keep people and investors, more importantly, believing that it is as effective and has as much potential as they are claiming, essentially. And again, here, it reminds me of when he went all in and talked big about the metaverse and blockchain, and now it's cricket on that front, which is exactly what I just pretty much said. Here, this guy is saying, Sai, the software development and support lifecycle is incredibly complex. Is it really suggesting that a statistical model, which spits out trash code, to simple questions, which rarely works and regularly adds mass massive tech debt, can understand complex architecture, security, etc., when it has no capacity to understand? No. Now, this is also a good point, and I want to bring that into what I think will happen. As someone who has worked in one of these companies, the thing to understand is that in a big company context, the job of a developer is not just about writing some code. There's so many different steps that go into this. There's so many review processes and like different developers working on the same thing. And, and you need to like architect the code and like, and it needs to be connected to all these different things. So I think it, even if you have an AI that can write very good code, which even now it's really not that good. Once things start to become more complex, I can tell that. Also as someone who's coding a startup right now, in the beginning when you're writing boilerplate stuff that's been done many times before, by design AI can really do this well, but once you get into something niche, something very novel, AI really does struggle with this a lot. So to say that in 2025, you could have a senior developer that can not only write code that is good enough to not have, have to be reviewed by humans, but also to be able to integrate it into this very complex software development process. I kind of doubt that. Could that happen eventually? Of course, maybe very difficult to see where AI is going to go. But I think even if what he's saying is true, you might have some like code monkey kind of engineers that can be replaced by AI. AI can be writing out a lot of code, but you're still going to need so many humans around this that I kind of think that sure, there might be some impact like developers who primarily write code can maybe write two or three times more code now than before. But you're going to have so many different aspects around that. You're going to need to have that still need to be done by humans. And it's really just going to free up human time to do more higher level things, like do more complicated things, like really spend more time architecting the code properly. And honestly, just build a lot more. Like all of these companies that are now going to have access to AI that can churn out code very, very quickly. Well, they're not going to just say like, okay, we're just going to build the same amount of stuff, but spend less money. No, they're going to say, well, we have all this cash, this investor money that's going to keep coming in. Why don't we just keep having the same amount of people but output so much more than before like people don't realize that there's still so much more potential so many things that could be built with technology and all of this like new technology like ai is really going to speed up how much these companies can produce because they still want to compete they still want to be the best and there's still going to be a lot of aspects of software development that while perhaps they could be done by AI, but they are going to be more efficiently done by humans. There's going to be things that humans are still going to need to do at least for a very long time. So I would say 2025, probably a bit of an exaggeration. Probably we have a situation where he kind of, again, has to say this because they're investing into AI. So I wouldn't put too much emphasis on this. So what does this mean for you? What do I think you should do? Well, really, I know I'm going to sound like a bit of a broken record here if you'll be watching more videos on this channel. But really what this just means that you're going to have to keep up. You're going to have to look at, okay, what are the things that perhaps AI is going to be able to replace, like the more code monkey kind of task, like just churning out code. And what are the areas where it's going to take more time for AI to catch up to humans, which is the more thinking part of the process, like deciding what to code, coming up with new ideas, coming up with the architecture, connecting different things together, all these kind of things. So really what you should do is focus less and less and less on understanding how to write code, but focusing more and more and more on understanding what code to write and how all of these big systems work at a high level. If you're building a website, for example, rather than focusing on like, okay, how do I write the syntax of this in JavaScript, like all these things, Focus on, okay, what does it actually mean to have a backend and a frontend connected? What does it mean to write an API? Like understanding how these things work, that is actually what's going to make you a 
employable, valuable developer in this age of AI, rather than being the code monkey that just knows how to write some HTML or something like that, which was the case in the past. So that is what I think. Let me know what you think, which I'm sure you're going to do anyway in the comments. If, however, you want to see my more extended discussion on this new wave of AI, specifically OpenAI's O3 model and what I think about that, you can watch this video right here. With that said, I will see you in the next one.